All right, I just weighed it. And so far we're looking at 4.7 pounds. I finally got the final motors in. So they're all identical. I was flying handicap with a, a different type of motor recently. I got the carbon blades in. Pretty nice. Um, total weight, I just weighed it right now. We were at uh, 2,100 grams or 4.7 pounds. Uh, so, overall, heavy. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the... Right up here is where the Mobius camera is going to get mounted. I'm going to use this for FPV. And it just pretty much just looks at the direction of where this thing flies. So I have an idea where I'm going. I got a single battery pack, 6600 milligram, uh, milliamps running on top. Which gives me about 10 minutes of flight time, which is not too bad. Now uh, let's go flip this guy up real quick. See the holes right there. All right, right under here. We have our gimbal. It's just a 2D gimbal with our uh, film camera. So I can point down, point side, do whatever I want to do to videotape. And then underneath, uh, let's go ahead and flip you up. We have all of our setup. Now, if you notice, I added a switch here on the side uh, because I have a different uh, battery setup back here. I got a three cell, 500 milliamp battery that strictly just runs the gimbal and runs the FPV uh, uh, gear. I don't want to run that from the main battery, so that way you know I don't have to worry about this gimbal dying out on me or having any kind of shaking video if I'm eating too much of the main battery. Um, overall, it's pretty good. It's, it flew pretty nice over at uh, Vista View Park. Uh, even though it was a really windy day, um, and pretty good. I mean, even though I have APM 2.6 and everything is be, being sent via uh, wireless USB, which is the 3DR radio down to my ground station i still have the old school setup i still got the beepers <laughs> you know you can never go you know can never trust 100 percent that this thing is always accurate plus these meters will kind of calculate how close they are i recently set it up to do nothing if you um run low on power or if you lose ground station or if you lose anything and my actual radio actually died mid-flight and this thing just stayed hovering <laughs> I got lucky enough that I ended up having a, a half a second of power on the radio that I could turn it back on and at least initialize a shutdown where this thing came down. I caught it where it kind of, you know, cut me all over the place. And this was when it had just the plastic blades. Now with these carbon graphites, they're so sharp that I will probably let it drop <laughs> if that happens again. So I'm going to go outside now. Um, as soon as the sun comes up a little bit, give it a quick test flight now with these carbon graphite blades. I haven't tested yet. And with the setup, and we'll see. Uh, again, the Mobius camera will go mounted here, which is the one I'm holding in my hand. So I'm actually mounted while I'm talking to you. You can actually clip it right back. And right now, it's that's what it's that's what I'm gonna see as the pilot when I'm flying with the uh, with the uh, FPV monitor. Uh, while the camera underneath, you know, we can pan and zoom and, and tape and do what I gotta do uh, separately, completely separate. And the only thing I'm missing here is connect the this rig that I did right here for the Mobius where this plugs in the back and this connects to this part uh, and then the other end goes into the um, OSD right here on this side and then down to the uh, video transmitter so so far so good I'm happy with them um, I'm almost done and then starts the next one uh, an X700 uh, Hexacopter, um, which will probably take on the name Goliath, because this one is uh, Frankie, and Frankie so far is doing good. Uh, but the only thing I actually have new once I'm done here is I have, I'm going to remove these uh, landing skids, and I have the newer ones that are going to give me a little more height, and they're uh, retractable. I hit a switch, and then they all the, they, they come up right here and right here out of the way, so that way I have full clearance in the bottom. I don't have to worry about this little thing popping up for any reason if I'm panning or, or moving around. 